Good morning students, myself Dinesh Chaudhary from Little Flower English Medium School, Udara. Now today I am going to teach you a very important topic of class 10th mass that is known as arithmetic progression. This you have already studied in the previous class or previous uh, subject mass like in the form of ascending order, descending order. But there is a one difference between AP and ascending and descending order is there should not be equal gap between the number series. But in AP there should be a equal gap between the numbers which we have write over here. For example, what is AP? AP is known as sequence of number where each number is added with the constant term that is commonly known as common difference. For example, we have the AP 1, 4, 7, 10 is an AP because here each term have equal gap that is of plus 3. So here gap is equal that's why we can say this is an AP and how we represent the AP in the form like we can write here a plus d then a plus 2d and a plus 3d now what is a over here in the series we can say a is called the first term of an ap like we have written over here one so this one is known as first term of the given series same here d d is known as common difference common difference means a fixed number that we are adding to the previous number to getting the second number and how to find d we can find the d by using next term minus previous term for example we have a ap that is known as 3 6 9 12 now in this we need to find the first term and the common difference of this ap so how we can find the first term is known as a so we have to write here a equal to 3 and for finding the common difference we should take second term minus the first term so for example we have taken 6 and 3 so we got common difference 3 so each series have the, should be same common difference so that will be called as AP. For example, you can see over here 6 minus 3 that is 3. Same over here 9 minus 6 it is also 3 and same here also we can get 3. So it number series having equal gap that's why it is known as AP. Now who, which series we cannot call an AP. For example, I have written here 2, 4, 8, 16 like that. So here we can see the first term is 8 but the difference between the numbers for example here it is 2, here it is 4 and here it is 8. So we are looking over here that we are not getting the equal common dif equal difference between the numbers so we cannot say this is we can say this is not an AP. So for AP it should be the equal gap between the numbers that we have written in the sequence form. Now it can be positive also and it can be negative also and common difference can be zero also. Now how many types of AP over here? So we know that we have two types of AP. First is called finite. Now what is finite? Finite means the AP whose last term we have to know means the last term we have that is known as finite AP. For example we have written here 2, 4, 6, 8 so we can get here last term 8. Like that second AP is known as infinite AP in which last term we don't know means for example the ap4 8 12 and dot dot means the last term we don't know that's why it is known as infinite ap now how to find the last term of an ap for example we have written a series over here a plus d a plus 2d and a plus 3d so like this using this series we can find the last term and the formula is we know that a n first term plus n minus 1 and d is what common difference so now for example I have to find the third term so according to this formula first we have to write a and then the number that over here we have to take one less from the number given over here for example we have taken three so we have to write how many number here 2d like that if we want to find that a 10 so we should write here a and one less from this that become 90 so this way we can find the any terms of the given AP and the last term of AP we can find using the formula a n a n means the last term a means the first term n means the number of terms in the given series and d is known as common sense so i hope you get caught it and we will learn about in next lecture thank you